If for some reason you're experiencing some problems with booting your Linux Mint USB drive on different computers, for example, it works fine on a laptop or computer on which you have installed Linux Mint on the USB drive, but when you're trying to boot it on a different computer, it just doesn't want to boot or doesn't want to see it. I'm going to give you a few tips you can try to fix this problem. This is going to be an additional troubleshooting video to my video about how to install Linux Mint onto the USB drive that I have released recently. If you haven't watched that video, you can check it out by the link in the description. It is very helpful. You can install the whole Linux Mint operating system on the USB drive and take it with you anywhere you go. But in case it doesn't want to boot on every computer you try it on, this video will explain how to fix it. So let's get started. First of all, make sure that on the computer that you're trying to run this USB stick, the USB booting is enabled. It is located in the BIOS settings. When you go to the boot section, it should be over there or it could be in the general section as well. You got to enable USB booting. If it's not enabled, computer won't boot from the USB drive. Another thing you can try is disable secure boot. Go to the BIOS or UEFI, navigate to the security or boot tab, then set the secure boot to disabled. This allows the system to boot from unsigned bootloaders like your USB drive, GRUB installation, save the changes and reboot the system. Just press F10 for that. Also make sure that the USB drive is at the top boot priority list that you can also find in the boot menu in the BIOS. Sometimes you can use USB 2.0 ports instead of USB 3.0 if the system is older and may not support booting from the USB 3.0 ports. That also could be a fix for it. To make sure your USB drive is bootable on both UEFI and legacy BIOS systems, you'll need to reinstall GRUB in the way that supports both modes. The first option is to use a hybrid GRUB installation. Use your Linux Mint Live USB, the one that you originally used to install Linux Mint on the USB drive. Connect both the Live USB and your installed USB drive. Boot from the Live USB drive. Connect to the internet. Go to the bottom right corner, type gparted, press enter. Then in the upper right corner, just choose your USB drive. And we're going to need to create a small partition of 300 to 500 megabyte on the USB drive. So I'm just going to take a little bit off this partition over here, the ext4, unmount it. Now we can resize it. So just choose resize. And we're just going to choose 500 megabyte for the new partition. We got 500 for unallocated space. Now we need to format it as FAT32. So right click again, choose new. File system we choose as FAT32. The create as is going to be primary. We're just going to put it ESP for the name. Now right click on it. Format it to FAT32. Okay, then click on the arrow at the top. Apply pending operations. Now just click close. Then right click on the newly created partition and choose manage flags. We're going to flag it as boot or ESP in Gparted. Check the boxes for boot and ESP and then close it. Open a terminal and run sudo space add apt repository space ppa two dots y a n n ubuntu for slash boot dash repair and press enter. Then press enter again to continue. After that type sudo apt update and press enter. Wait until it's going to update all the packages. After that, type sudo apt install space dash y space boot dash repair and press enter. Wait until it's finished. After that, launch the boot repair. Just type boot dash repair and press enter. Then choose advanced options, GRUB location, OS to boot by default is going to be this one here, Linux Mint, separate boot UEFI partition, 
is going to be on this partition that we have just created for the ESP. The rest of the options, just leave them the same and just click apply. It might take several minutes, so just be patient. You can choose to upload the report to a paste bin. This way, if this repair doesn't fix it, you can share it with other on different forums and find another solution. It doesn't collect any personal data like passwords, so it should be all good. It just, it just collects technical details like partition layouts and good configurations. Here is the link where it saved it. So yeah, just handwrite it and it should be good to go. So if you experience boot problems, you can indicate this URL to this email. After that, we can close it and load it from another computer, see if it's going to work. First of all, let's go ahead and try it on a pretty new Lenovo Legion 5 laptop from 2021. It has UEFI not bias installed as a primary system for input output. So we're going to try it on this machine first. Before it wouldn't start on this machine because the USB flash drive was created on the BIOS system, not the UEFI one. So I'm going to press F12 to get to the boot menu. And as you can see, we're getting the USB drive detected. It is Ubuntu SanDisk. So that's the one we need. Just use the arrow keys to select it and press enter. There we go. We are in the GRUB menu and we need to choose Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon. Well, it already seems like everything is working. It has start loading from the USB stick and I already see the Linux logo, which is a good sign. And there we go. You bet everything is working on this new UEFI machine and we get in our Linux Mint running from the USB stick on UEFI as well as it ran on the legacy BIOS systems. As you can see, this is our Linux desktop background and we have all the widgets, everything on the desktop. So indeed, everything has been saved on the USB drive and it is running from the same USB drive that we have installed in the previous video. So let's go ahead and try it on one more computer just to make sure everything is working before I let you go. And just another quick change so that I can prove that I'm using exactly the same USB drive. It's not a different USB drive. I'm just going to quickly change a background wallpaper on this desktop and we're going to try it on the desktop PC. There we go. I'm going to be using it on this desktop PC. And by the way, if you want to see a full review on this Deepcool Matrix 55 mesh case, I will put a link in the description. Check it out. It is a very cool mid tower casing. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. And I'm even going to be using an extension USB cable. I'm not even going to plug it in directly to the PC. I will be just using a USB 2.0 extension cable and see if it's going to work. On this Asus motherboard, I need to press F8 to access the boot menu. And if you need to know what key you need to press on your computer, I have another video. I'll put a link in the description. So if you need to access boot menu and you don't know how to, check out that video. I'm going to put a link in the description. Anyway, we have booted to the boot menu and there we go. So as you can see, the USB drive with our Linux Mint is present so we can choose it. It is the same Ubuntu SanDisk. So just select it with the arrow keys on the keyboard and press enter. And there we go. It starts to load. Then we need to choose Linux Mint Cinnamon 22 and press enter. And we see the Linux Mint logo. There we go. The welcome screen is on. Just enter our password. And as you can see, it has a different desktop wallpaper that we have just changed on our Lenovo Legion 5 laptop. So yeah, indeed, it is the same USB stick and it's working on both this desktop PC as on the Lenovo Legion 5 laptop, as well as on the legacy BIOS systems as well. So there you have it, guys. I hope you will find this video helpful and it will help you solve your problem. Like I always say, if you know how to fix it, it only takes a minute or two but if you don't know how to fix it, you can spend forever trying to figure it out. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know in the comment section below if it was helpful. If you like this video, please support with your like. If you first time to the channel, take a second to click the subscribe button. I appreciate it very much. This helps me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful, interesting video. If you want to support my channel, I appreciate it very much. If you have comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. But this is it for today. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.